Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com, and this is a Mirage. No, really, it's, it's a real car. It's, it's a Mitsubishi Mirage. Mitsubishi's bringing back a nameplate that we haven't seen in the U.S. now for more than 10 years. The Mirage is their global small car. They're bringing it back. It's a hatchback. Uh, it's coming here, and we are at the New York International Auto Show, the 2013 Auto Show, to check it out. The Mirage is under 150 inches long. It's actually about four inches longer than the Spark, which is really small, but well short of Ford's Fiesta, another popular subcompact out there. You get around front, there's not a lot to look at. Um, there's kind of a formless bumper here. Uh, there's an optional chrome package that the car at the auto show has. Dresses up the fog light portals a little bit better. Uh, come around the side. These wheels might seem kind of small. That's because they're 14s, 14 inch alloy wheels. Typical small cars. Again, entry level, this is kind of a niche subcompact car, Mitsubishi says. Uh, let's check out the interior. Believe it or not, a lot of standard features in this car, things like power windows and door locks, remote keyless entry, uh, automatic climate control, those are all standard features, Mitsubishi says. You get up to higher trims, you can actually get things like a navigation system, a backup camera, front and rear parking sensors, uh, a leather wrapped steering wheel with, uh, with cruise and audio controls here. Typical of an entry-level car, quality seems pretty rudimentary. Uh, there's no telescoping steering wheel here. This only uh, tilts. Um, there's no center armrest here. There's no armrest along the door uh, padding as far as that goes. Um, your passenger doesn't get any vanity mirror or anything like that. Uh, but again, some high points as well. Uh, pretty high quality buttons and, and some good quality leather wrapping the steering wheel for what it's worth. And there's a nice piano black kind of uh, surface around the center controls. The front seats have decent adjustability. This is where I'd sit. I'm about six feet tall, and I'd sit a couple clicks ahead of all the way back. The seats have an optional seat height adjuster, though, and it adjusts the cushion independently of the seat back. Most seat height adjusters adjust the whole thing. What that means is that if you pump the seat up, the lumbar in the backrest kind of hits a different area of your spine. A lot of drivers, myself included, may not find this very, very comfortable, so make sure you check that out. Let's take a look at the back seat. Back seat space is kind of tight, um, but the front seats have a nice cushiness to them, so uh, my knees dig in, it's not that big of a deal. And headroom's pretty good too. None of this may really matter because combined gas mileage Mitsubishi expects with the continuously variable automatic transmission is 40 miles per gallon. That's a city highway combined number instead of the 40 miles per gallon highway that a lot of competitors get. That comes thanks to a very, very small engine. It's a 1.2 liter three-cylinder engine. It pairs with a five-speed manual or that CVT automatic. Mitsubishi hasn't talked about pricing yet, but they expect the Mirage to be similarly priced to the Chevy Spark, which starts at about $13,000, including destination. Uh, keep an eye out for that closer to the car's on sale date this fall.